hello and welcome back to my channel um it is the day before thanksgiving when i'm filming this not sure when it's gonna actually go live but as you can see i had a britney moment um shaved all my hair off uh, <laughs> the woman who typically does up my hair um wasn't available and we don't know if she will be um so i had to go to just a chain barber place and I always struggle to get someone to do what I want there to make it look good. So I just told her to buzz it. So here we are. So, so it currently is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, and we are going to do a fashion file unboxing. I was really hoping that this video would be a, what I got on my vacation unboxing. Um, we just went and spent a week, a little over a week actually in Colorado. Uh, we were in Denver, Castle Rock, and we were up in Estes Park as well. We kind of did a couple of days in each spot. And I was really hoping to go to the Louis Vuitton store, find this item or another item that's very similar, which we'll get into soon. Um, and I decided to not, I should have gotten contact information for an essay up there via the Facebook Addicted Group and asked for it so maybe they could source what I wanted but I told myself, no, I want to go in and see if they have it. Now, what I am what I got is a bag that's not, you know, super trendy. Um, and it's kind of like an everyday Louis Vuitton bag. So I assumed they would have it, or hoped. I know there's a lot of supply issues right now. And between you and me, I, I don't know how I feel about Louis Vuitton. Uh, I think the quality of the new bags, as I've said in multiple videos, and I've seen examples on the Addicted Facebook group, I think that the quality is not what it used to be, and I think it's way overpriced for the quality. I also think that them doing price increases not constantly this last, you know, 18, 24 months is a little bit of a slap in the face to shoppers because they're not doing anything to increase the quality of anything that's going down, and you can't even get your hands on a bag if you want one. It's like, it's, it's, it's like they're trying to be Hermes and be a lot more exclusive, which I understand exclusivity, with expensive items but I also think you have to find a balance because I am not someone who can go in and buy you know do hundred thousand dollar hauls at Louis Vuitton all the time or ever actually but I occasionally can go in and buy a bag and you know if I save just right I can go do that and I was going to do that but because they didn't have any in stock and I got an essays card, which is nice. Um, so now I have his contact information. If I need something in the future, I can try to get it. But, you know, they don't have anything in stock ever. It's only the really, really expensive bags that they have in stock, which I don't, I don't like. So anyway, um, before we get into that, let's do bag of the week. So the bag of the week this week is my Rogue 25. I love her. She's a little bit smaller than I wanted for the Rogue. If the 30 ever comes out, again, I'll be taking one home. But here she is in all her glory. Let's back to the story time. So, went in. We arrived in the Denver area on Sunday of last week. First thing we did, we went to Cherry Creek Mall, went to Louis Vuitton, asked them if they had... The item I want in one of the two prints that I wanted it in. Of course, they were like, no, we don't have any, but we may be getting some Tuesday. Well, we were going to be in the Denver area until Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday morning. We were leaving for Estes Park. So, texted them on Tuesday. Sure enough, they didn't get any in. Um, so, it was a little bit sad, but with the quality issues that I referenced before the back of the week, um, and all of that stuff. I think what I ended up doing was okay. So I was a little bit bummed out and we are going on another vacation. Um, side note, due to COVID, last year everything got canceled. We really didn't do much. So this year we're doing my husband's family's holiday vacation was in Denver the week prior to Thanksgiving. And then my family is doing one towards the end of the year near Christmas. So, um, so we're going to be going somewhere else where they do have a Louis Vuitton as well. So I was trying to decide, should I wait? try to get some contact information for someone down there when we go hope and see if I can get one or should I do what I've always done and just purchase a pre-loved item on Fashion File. Um, now let me just say 
I do have two bags that I purchased brand new from the designer. Uh, my Prada Nylon Messenger bag and my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Bandolier in the Abane print. Everything else has been on Fashion File. Um, and of course my coach items, I just buy a coach because you can't buy them there. They're not that exclusive and they're not that hard to get. So I really wanted that in-store experience, but my husband's is something that resonated with me. Um, flashback a couple years ago, probably three or four years ago, we went to Las Vegas. We haven't been as much recently, but we used to go one to two times a year at least. Was with my sister-in-law and she'd wanted a Louis Vuitton bag forever. Um, hi Jen. Uh, and she saved, decided she was going to buy one. She went and bought one. Now the store experience then was way different. They had a lot of inventory. You know, you walked in, you know, they'd offer you champagne. They'd offer you soda. They'd offer you, you know, a lot of things. And it was just kind of an experience. I mean, you would go in there and you were there, you know, I see people sitting down from anywhere from, you know, like 30 minutes to an hour just shopping. And that includes obviously the people that go in and buy you know, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars worth of stuff, and the people who buy a two thousand or less dollar bag. You don't get that anymore. With COVID, the store experience is way different. They want you in and out as fast as possible. So even if they had had my bag, I would have paid for it. They would have boxed it up, and I would have been out of there in probably five minutes. So I'm assuming it's going to be the same uh, when we go on vacation later this year. So I decided, you know. Part of what you're paying for is the experience and the bag I wanted, um, well, we'll go over price here. Um, but I did end up buying it on Fashion File while we were there. <laughs> we were at Castle Rock Outlets, if you ever go there, sitting in the like food court area and I was just browsing Fashion File. Um, I had, like I said, I had one bag I wanted and two different prints I wanted in. <sighs> Found this one, it was my second, it was the one I wanted last. So I want another print first, but I saw this one. I thought the price was less than retail. The condition is marked excellent by Fashion File. They just marked some creasing on the outside, which I'll explain here in a minute. I hope so anyway. If I forget, I'll just cut that out. Um, and this came with the box and everything. And I saved some money. So here it is. I will say I have not looked. My husband received the box from the UPS man and he always likes to cut them for me, but I have not even lifted it. So this, I haven't even done that yet. You're seeing it before me. So we're going to get into it. And like I said, this came with the box, dust bag, everything. So this is a ginormous box. I've never received something from Fashion File that also came with the designer box. So this is a huge box. So I'm excited. So you lift it up. The, ooh, the big boxes are a little different. So it says from the bottom of this box, thank you. <laughs> That's so cute. And then normally it has the Fashion File logos and the words. Um, it's actually inside the box, as you can kind of see there. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Paper. Okay. So the first thing we have is the confetti covered fashion file. Thanks for shopping. So in here, we also have our fashion file nail file. Gotta love it. I have way too many of those. It just tells you I spend too much money here. By the way, fashion file, get a rewards program. Buy 10, get a dollar off. I don't care what it is. I buy too many and I would love some sort of incentivization. Is that a word? I would like to be incentivized keep buying more because I exclusively only shop on Fashion File. I've done what comes around once for a wallet, great wallet, definitely way overpriced. And I, between me and my personal opinion, I don't trust the real real. I have had too many people, uh, too many videos. I've seen way more videos. I'm sorry, I can't talk, I'm so excited. That talk about getting fakes or scammed, not necessarily scammed, but not getting what you paid for on the real real versus Fashion File. And a lot of the real real stuff is non-returnable. So there's no refund. I love that Fashion File gives that 30 day window and then they'll buy it back for up to 75% up to a year. Hello, makes sense, right? So anyway, here we are. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this actually is a older Louis Vuitton item. So um, here it is. Again, the box just empty. Oh, too much stuff. I just knocked something over, hold on. Okay. 
be careful when you eat a box off your couch. You may knock some stuff over. So here's the packaging. It has the typical used is the new new sticker, fashionfile.com. Love Fashion File. I think I almost get more excited purchasing from Fashion File. Which I will say, even if it doesn't have the box, I mean you've seen my unboxings from probably five million on YouTube. Something you pay for when you buy from Louis Vuitton directly, Prada, all those stores, is the box experience, you know, the packaging. I think Fashion File makes it just as fun, even without the factory box. So I'm not mad that I couldn't find this brand new. Not at all. And actually, I revealed a secret. The color was not the dark brown old Louis Vuitton box. It was the Fashion File box. Thumbnail. Okay. So. And like I said, I've never gotten the designer box with any of my purchases. So this is... A new experience. I feel like I'm in the Sex and the City movie when Carrie Bradshaw gets her assistant the Louis Vuitton box and she holds it like this and you can subtly see it. So here it is, the old Louis Vuitton box. I actually really like the old Louis Vuitton boxes. The dark brown is really elegant. The yellow is fun too. Let's see on the side here it actually says what it is so I'm not going to tell you or show you that but Here's the box, in pretty good shape. I mean, this box is, I think it's about 10 years old, eight to 10 years old. I'll have to look up the year that this was made, but here it is. And the boxes are different. Oh, okay. okay, it's not wrapped, so I just spoiled this, but. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Get out of here. fluffer and we're going to examine her and then we're going to go for all of the information that you would ever want to know about her, why I bought her, how much she costs, all of that jazz. Just doing my smell test of course. Oh. Okay. okay so before we get into the bag, here's the bottom of the box, factory dust bag. These are the older Louis Vuitton dust bags. And on the back, it does have the speedy information. This is a 25, by the way. Um, it comes with a piece of leather and a gift tag, I guess. I'm not really sure how packaging was. I'm gonna have to watch some videos on this older packaging. Um, but here's the little gift card. So it has the LV logo, it's blank. On the back, it just kind of has this pretty geometric design. And then it's a little window into the card with the flower, the floret, I think is what it's called. And then on the back, it just says Louis Vuitton. And I'm assuming that this was tied through it, maybe tied to the box somehow. So this may have been a gift. So that's kind of cool. Like that. And then I don't think there's anything else under here, but this okay. Nope. So just a piece of tissue, non-labeled on the base of the box. Okay, so let's get into the bag. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do before I show you, I'm gonna give it a once over and then I'll be back. So I went ahead and give it a short examination and I stuffed it with some paper. Um, that way it has a little bit of shape. So based off what I've observed, I don't see anything wrong with this bag. I don't see any signs of wear. I mean, that Vachetta looks brand new. There's no nicks. There's not a lot of darkening. There's maybe a few spots. Um, I mean, the glazing again looks brand new. Um, this is a made in France piece. Um, I mean, it's pretty flawless, if I'm being honest. Um, it also, I found uh, the lock and key. So let's look at that real quick. Um, so it is a little tarnished, actually quite a bit tarnished. Need to clean that up. Um, but there's the lock and key. Yep. Um, whoop. <laughs> so anyway. I have that, and I need to clean it up, but I'm gonna buy some Brasso or something for it. Uh, so, my observation based off this bag is that whoever owned it probably got it as a gift or maybe bought it for a gift and just ended up not giving it, I don't really know. But I think it probably sat in the box for a long time. And you should never store your bags in the box. So, the indications to that are the creasing, because it's pretty creased um, for how old this bag is. 
if it had been carried, some of these creases would be gone. Um, so it sat there, you can just tell. Um, also the way the sides kind of fold up like that tells me that it's been stored in a box for quite some time because um, these haven't kind of leveled out yet. And I brought down my Vintage Speedy for comparison. So like these, you know, it's all pretty, you know, see, you can kind of tell, like it's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like bunched up at the top because it's, it's used to being folded uh, because when you fold them, that's just the way it kind of sits. And the smell, it smells good, it smells new. It smells like a brand new bag. Um, it does have the newer tab with the leather, the finished leather, treated leather on both sides. Um, you know, there's not a lot of, I don't see any tarnishing of the hardware or anything. Everything looks pretty good. I mean, again, I don't see like any scratching or anything, but maybe where it just looks like it was stored in a box. Um, and like I said, you should never do that because it can lock moisture in and it can damage the bag. Now in this case, I think I got lucky and it did not, but um, just keep that in mind with your own bags to be aware of that. Let's, let's do just a comparison. So here's the Speedy 25 and Damier Azure. My Vintage 93, Speedy 25, and Monogram. Oh, that's just perfect. But here's kind of what you can see. Like this one, the zipper pull is flat and flush. This one, it's bunched up. And like I said, I think that's because of the way it was stored. I think once I carry things and have weight in it, it will start to kind of puff out, I hope. And then I have my Ebene 30. So, my baby mama. Um, I actually wanted this in the Aben more than anything because I love the Aben. It's so carefree, but I couldn't find one for the price. So the Aben and the 25 must be very popular. So brand new, the Speedy 25 right now retails for $13.50. I estimated tax probably about 10% in most places, maybe a little more, maybe a hair less. So that's $14.85 is what this bag would have cost me had I had it on the shelf at Cherry Creek Mall. So, I, on Fashion File, got this one um, for $1,290. So I saved about $200, um, which doesn't sound like a ton, I know, but everyone knows $200 is $200. And think about it this way, that means I saved not only the tax, because I don't have to pay tax on Fashion File purchases where I live, because we don't have locations, I guess. I'm assuming in some places you do, um, but my state doesn't require it, I guess. So that's very cool. And I also just saved a little bit off the purchase price. Purchase price didn't save that much. Um, you know, it was about $60, but the tax really helps saving that. So I can't complain. I also feel like I potentially got a better quality bag because we all know that the older ones are just made a little bit better. So let's give it a run down here. Take all my homemade stuffing out of it real quickly. So it has a little Louis Vuitton coated fabric trim card. Okay. Never seen that. Um, inside, it's just the tan canvas. It's a little translucent, of course. And then you have the pull out pocket. Now this one is not lined with like the waxy, you know, plasticky finish on the inside. It's just the uncoated canvas, just like this. So that's really cool. And then the date code is MB4154. So MB is France in the 45th week of 2014. So this bag isn't as old as I thought, but it's still from 2014. So that's pretty cool again in my mind, not gonna complain. I mean, this thing is brand new on the inside. There's not a mark, there's not a crumb. There's absolutely nothing inside this bag. This bag is flawless. So I am really excited. I'm gonna have to get it stuffed again and sit. I'm not gonna take the tag off quite yet, but I am gonna probably do a, I don't know, some sort of comparison. Maybe I'll compare it to my Rogue. That would be kind of a fun video. But my next Speedy I want is the 25, not the Bandolier in the event because I love my Speedy 3. It's just too big. Um, I realized that on this vacation, this was the bag I took 
it's just a hair bit too big. Um, I mean, all the same things fit in these guys with not a lot of extra room, which is sometimes bad, but these are just a little bit more versatile to, you know, put in tight places when you're in the car or stuff like that. So, and they also just hang on me a little bit better. The 30 kind of looks like a duffel bag. Um, so definitely, definitely a big, big fan of the 25 size. So that is the video. I hope that it wasn't too rambly for you guys. Um, if you are new here, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, um, comment below. I really try to get to those. Um, sometimes I'm a little slow, but I'll sit down every so many days and I try to go through my comments and reply to every one of them. Um, let me know if there's anything you'd want to see. Um, I'll try to maybe find some of these that are for sale right now on Fashion File for anyone who's looking. Um, you know, if you have any questions about the bag, let me know. I'd be happy to answer that. And for those of you who do subscribe and are watching, thank you for subscribing. I'm really hoping to grow this channel into something really cool. Um, so yeah, stay around. More videos coming. Um, I'm going to do my next video, and I think I've mentioned this before. <laughs> But I keep doing surprise unboxings that aren't planned necessarily. Um, I think I'm going to do a small other good slash wallet video where I just kind of go over all of those because I realize I have quite a few of those now. So that may be coming soon. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving. I mean, by the time you're seeing this, Thanksgiving will be long gone. But still, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bye, guys.